Hi, I am Dr. Abhishek Sharma. I am an incoming cardiology fellow at the State University of New York Downstate Medical Center. And uh, I am also first author uh, on the upcoming manuscript at Mayo Clinic Proceeding entitled Relationship of Body Mass Index with uh, Total Mortality, Cardiovascular Mortality and uh, Myocardial Infarction. Before I begin discussing our finding, I would like to thank uh, all my co-authors, especially Dr. Levine, for his uh, contribution and uh, guidance on this project. As we know that obesity is a global epidemic and uh, up to two-thirds of, uh, two of Americans uh, have been classified either as overweight or obese. And these population have a higher prevalence of uh, coronary artery disease due to which they undergo a coronary revascularization procedure including percutaneous coronary intervention commonly known as PCI and coronary artery bypass graft surgery commonly known as cabbage more often comparison to when it when compared to normal weight patient previous studies have uh, classified obesity as a risk factor for worse clinical outcomes after uh, revascularization procedures. However, recent studies have indicated that uh, overweight and obese patients have lower mortality and uh, when they compare it to the underweight and normal weight patient. And this phenomena has been described as a uh, obesity paradox. So because of this conflicting and uh, contradictory finding in the literature, we decided to address this issue by conducting a meta-analysis following the MOOS guidelines, which is an abbreviation for a meta-analysis you know, of observational studies in epidemiology. We collected data from all studies which have reported uh, outcomes after a coronary revascularization procedure both PCI and cabbage in various BMI categories. BMI is a, is a most commonly used uh, parameter or anthropometric parameter to assess degree of adiposity to stand for body mass index. After conducting a literature search we find 36 studies with 257,333 patients for our final analysis with a mean follow-up period of 1.7 years. Our result shows that uh, after coronary revascularization procedure, the risk of total mortality, cardiovascular mortality and myocardial infarction was highest in uh, underweight patients, while the overweight and obese patients have uh, more favorable outcomes. and. Uh, does essentially demonstrate the uh, existence of obesity paradox even after a coronary revascularization procedure. So what could be possible uh, explanation uh, for uh, this paradox? Many of them are still speculative and uh, many of them are uh, based on the findings that have been reported in previous registries like uh, overweight and obese patients have been reported to prescribe uh, cardioprotective medication like uh, beta blockers, statins and antiplatelet therapy more often and that too at a higher doses. Further obese and uh, overweight patients have been found to have larger coronary uh, vessel diameter which might contribute to more favorable outcome after uh, coronary interventions. Further this population have a higher degree of metabolic uh, reserve which might act as a protective effect uh, after uh, in chronic catabolic conditions like CAD. Also uh, there could be a difference in the pathophysiology of coronary artery disease itself in the underweight patient and overweight patient. Like in underweight patient, uh, genetical predisposition might play a more uh, important role. While in overweight patient, uh, modifiable risk factor might be having a more important role in uh, pathogenesis of CAD. 
and these modifiable risk factors are more amenable to currently available uh, medical therapy. However, uh, there are also certain limitations in our study because uh, various cardiovascular risk factors uh, were not reported in the in the, the studies that we have included and uh, also extent and location of myocardial infarction which might play as a confounding role uh, was also not taken into consideration in our, our study because of uh, non-availability of data. However, given the magnitude and uh, sample size, magnitude of our finding and sample size, we can say that uh, the patient who, who are underweight have worse clinical outcome in terms of total mortality, cardiovascular mortality and uh, myocardial infarction after a coronary revascularization procedure, while overweight and obese patients uh, tend to have more favorable outcomes. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.com. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.